I'm Makomi. Welcome back to the Neverhood. We are navigating this little cart around this cliff face, just trying to cover every possible path, make sure we see everything we need to see. And we've already found a couple of really important things that uh, will definitely help us in our journey. So we're just gonna keep rolling right along up here. Oh, get up there. Controls on the cart are just a little bit clunky. I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to say that they're totally broken, it can just be a little bit frustrating because it's not the same clicking mechanic as, uh, walking. Oh, hey. The Cannon Monument. This cannon was built here by... Not Hoborg, but Clog. Hmm. So, this is the first hint we see of some kind of a conflict going on. Um, we definitely saw Hoborg's name mentioned in the Hall of Records. If you check the wall, he is definitely talked about there. And, uh, of course the Hall of Records has the big H on it and all that good stuff. And we haven't really heard too much about this claw guy yet, but trust me, we will. Don't fail me now. Oh, come on. Oops. Okay, I, I also really like, like, I don't know if it's necessarily the geologic columns, but it's like you can see the different layers of dirt and sediment and stuff in this canyon. canyon. Canyon, sorry. We just read the Canyon Monument, but, uh, yeah, I just, I think it's really cool that you can, like, see these layers of different soil and dirt and get up there, Clayman. Shark. There's the bridge we walked across, and that's another thing I appreciate. Like, there's the bridge we walked across. Um, so much of this game's world is just, like, really carefully interconnected, and that's really, really cool. Like, you can definitely see the logical flow where everything went, and I'm pretty sure that they, they built an entire model that, like, all actually connected together out of clay. I could be wrong, it's been a while since I've seen the making of for this game, but... Oh, hey. Sweet. This is Willie's place. There's the... There's his dad. That's cool. You can actually read about his dad in the Hall of Records. And, uh, yeah. Lots of blocks and... Potatoes. It looks like potatoes in a shopping bag, and there's just boots and stuff. That's cool. So there's Willie's place. <laughs> there we go. And there's really only like one other thing that's important for us to find, I believe. So we're we're almost through with like cart navigation and stuff. That's which is great. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna make a note of this song. I actually know what song it is because I have the soundtrack. This is BCB3. No, wait, B3BC. Okay. Because it's like supposed to be prehistoric sounding stuff. But uh, the song on this is gonna vary from. Uh, it's gonna vary from save file to save file, just like those weird symbols before. And, um. So you, you're going to want to take note of that, because that plays into something pretty important here in just a minute. Okay. And down we go. We are out of here. Spook. Get out. Get out. Clayton. Ah. All right. Awesome. So what's really great about this game is uh, it's just so... Doug Tenable. I mentioned at the in the first episode, this game was made by Doug Tenable, and uh, he's the same guy who made Earthworm Jim, he made, like, the Nickelodeon show Cat Scratch, he's done a lot of stuff, and he's also done, like, a lot of comics and graphic novels, but he's got a very distinctive brand of humor, and, uh, it's, just, it's like, so prevalent all throughout his work, so this game really has a lot of his, uh, a lot of his humor in it. So there's another discourse. Okay, so, listen. Oh no! Ah! Okay, actually, so it didn't turn on. Basically, we're gonna have to go back to Clayman's house now, and, um, power the radio on. Maybe I missed pulling- I thought it was the fifth one, but maybe I just pulled the fifth and not the third? Back to this, thank god we don't have to resolve this puzzle. I love the way Clayman, like, wiggles his fingers. It's so great. All right. Oh, for a minute there I thought the game froze because the screen was just black. 
But hey, we're going back to the first room. And if you catch the reference there, that's congratulations, you're awesome. Because that's an obscure one right there. So, if you know what that's a reference to, just uh, punch that one into the comments, why don't you? Fifth ring turns on the radio. It's one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the curly Q's and S's on the wall, those are really pretty too. So much visual appeal to this game, just so great. Oh boy, I don't... Now that I look at that, I don't think I could walk across that bridge. I, I'm not really scared of heights, but I like to have a safety rail of some sort. So that's that's a little bit much for my tastes right there. Perfect. Okay, claiming buddy, we're about to go down the stairs. Now, last time you fell pretty hard, so. You just try to take it a little bit slowly this time, okay? Just to... Never mind. Oh, you. Claiming you did it again. Now the radio is on, okay. So, that is a... Um, so now... We heard that song, that da -da 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 -da, which is the song specifically for my file. So now you have to dial through the radio until you find that song that was playing on the cliff face. That's our one. All right. And now see, the door's unlocked. The, that's that's a pretty cool puzzle right there. I actually like that. Alright. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's the cliff face we were on. There we go, okay. This is uh, also something important for us to write down. That's really easy to remember, but uh, I'm going to write it down just to make absolutely sure. Okay. Shouldn't keep my pin in my mouth the entire time. Pull that string, claimant. Boom. So, B-O-B-B-Y. Now that's important to remember too, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that down. This will make sense in a while, but this, this one was a bad one. A really bad one, this puzzle here. This was when I realized I needed a walkthrough the very first time I was playing through. In we go, buddy. Okay. So, red, red. So, what we have to do here is uh, change these crystals so that it makes the colors blue, orange, blue, blue, yellow, which is Bobby. B O B B Y. Unfortunately, ah. I have to get out and turn the light on to do that. Actually forgotten about that. That glass is nice and shiny, I like that. Oh, I didn't need the lights on. Okay. Yep, and lights have to be off for it to work, okay. So I think I uh, clicked those in the right order. It basically just goes through the color cycle in the order of the rainbow, I think. I'm pretty sure it goes through red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So uh, we will see if that worked. If not, I now know that I can just push the buttons to change the color. And we'll just kind of hope for the best here. Ah, yellow, green, blue. Okay, try that. Hey, 
<laughs> All right, awesome. So we're shrunk now. Good job, gang. So this is a great time for us to call it quits on this episode. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure to check out some of the other videos I've done. Check out the other videos in this series. And I will catch you guys next time on The Neverhood.